won the singing competition, so I'm just, you got a little practice at home, I guess, with uh, the guitar. And everything. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's like I've been training for this for for a while. <laughs> you know, uh, you got to prepare to be the best, and we did that today. So good win. <laughs> How do you prepare to be the best? <clears throat> Yeah, no, I, I love to play the guitar, and uh, especially if I've had a couple beers, you know, that's, it's always fun. Um, we really didn't prepare much for this. You, you get like about 50 to 60 minutes to, to write a song. Luckily, we had a lot of help from uh, our songwriter, Jimmy. Uh, he, he had a lot of it kind of figured out, and then we, we pieced it together. And I mean, Deontay and, then, uh, and yeah. Lee Sean did a really nice job, I thought, of uh, writing a nice little rap. So it came together well. <laughs> it was like uh, Joey Labus for the Music City Bowl. Not much time to prep, and exactly. you're thrown into it. Exactly. Right? Uh, but you make the most of it, and uh, not a lot of time to prep, but we got the win, and uh, that's the goal for Joe uh, coming yeah. up. How much are you helping him? Yeah. So he said you're, he'd been a big help. So. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, any, any question he has, I answer. Uh, you know, I, I think that the key, you know, for me is to kind of shut up because um, I, I would love to tell him about every single play. Uh, but you know, we, we have we have coaches on staff, and that's their job. And you know, I never want to overstep in that way. Um, you know, and overload a guy like Joe, young guy, right? Um, but yeah, I help him as much as I can, and uh, you know, it's, it's hard to substitute experience, so I try and teach as much as I can. I'm assuming it's difficult because your first instinct is probably to be vocal as kind of the leader of the team to kind of take a step back. Yeah, no, and it's especially uh, like a guy like Carson, like, you know, I found myself uh, even calling plays for him in the huddle. Just, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to really step back. Um, but yeah, they're both, they're both doing really, really nice. And, uh, you know, it's cool. It's, you know, they're just worried about doing their job, uh, so it's, it's great to see the other guys kind of step up and help them uh, with, with all the challenging things that come with being a quarterback. And, uh, they're doing a really nice job. And we'll see what Joe can do, but I think he's going to play well. I'm excited for him. What's up next for you? What do you want to get to try to do over the next year? That's a great question, Scott. Um, you know, so with my shoulder, uh, you know, I'll likely you know, be out a minimum of six months, uh, likely longer. Uh, just before I can really throw uh, like I can throw, or like I, I guess I could throw. Um, you know, sometimes, because I tore my labrum and my rotator cuff in my, in my shoulder. Um, so, that, you know, that can, that can sometimes be like 10, 11 months. Uh, so, obviously the timing of that is pretty, pretty tough. Um, and I'm kind of working through right now, you know, taking the next steps in my career after football, but also you know, ensuring that I don't look back with any regrets uh, in terms of, of finishing my playing career. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what that'll look like quite yet. Uh, I know I'll be at Iowa in the spring rehabbing and, and helping, uh, help Kate, I'll help, I'll help whoever, you know, teach what I know about our system and, and things like that. Um, in terms of next steps after that, it's really hard to say, uh, just because this is such a variable that time will tell. Um, and, and yeah, you know, but but as of right now, when I'm done playing, I want to coach. Um, so you know, the goal is to take steps in that in that direction while I'm rehabbing, and then once I'm rehabbed, if I feel good, uh, make a decision from there. Could you officially become like a grad assistant, whether it's in Iowa or another place, while you finish your rehab, and then you know, Zeb Nolan, for instance, yeah. South Carolina. So yes, uh, I could. Um, you know, I, I don't know the exact rules on, I guess there's two schools of thought for me as a player, right? It's it's um, it's rehab and then throw at the pro day in, you know, a year and a half, right? And then that way I know, you know, if I get a call, I get a call, go somewhere, uh, show what I can do. If I don't, I don't. At least I know I, I finished it in that way. Um, there's also the school of thought of, of you know, continuing to play in college, uh, which is really challenging just given the timing of my injury. Um, you know, there's, there's always the medical red shirt, and then you're talking about seven years in college, and it just, it's kind of a lot to think about. Um, I don't know if I could become a graduate assistant and then maintain eligibility, so that would close the door in that way. So there's just kind of a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, so, so, you know, the goal right now is, is to be on the roster, in the spring, um, you know, without the intention of, of necessarily playing for Iowa again, kind of knowing, knowing the situation, um, but with the intention of leaving all doors open and also furthering my career as a coach. Uh, 
Um, I've been talking, you know, the, the head, you know, Coach Ferentz has been really, really helpful, and we've, we've been talking, and, and Brian, same thing. They're, they're helping me through it and just kind of piece together what, what could happen. Does having Keed impact your thought process on that, or is it all kind of rehab based? Yeah, it's, it's really all rehab based. Um, you know, I think it's a, it's a, you know, having uh, Kate's, Kate's gonna be the, well, you know, we'll see how Joe and, and the rest of the guys do, but you know, Kate's, Kate's likely gonna be our quarterback next year. Like, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, unaware to that. Um, you know, and and I think had this injury not happened at the time it did, um, I'd, I'd probably be you know trying to train for the for the NFL. Um, it's just obviously minimum six months out. It's it's kind of a tough deal there, so that's where I hope you know it just gets tough. Um, but yeah, no, I mean it, it's more rehab based. It's like once my shoulder's good, then I got to decide what I want to do. But until then, I think it's hard to make any decisions. Is it six months from when you had the surgery, or six months yeah. from now? Yeah. Um, and there's just there's a ton of variables along the way. Like there's there's a chance I can rehab, and it's like you know my shoulder's never never the same. Uh, it's unlikely, but but it, it could happen. Um, there's a chance it, it takes longer than six months, and I eventually get back to where I was. There's a chance I can, it could be early, right? You just you never know. Uh, so just with a thrower, it's just a hard it's it's a hard timeline, a hard thing to, to deal with. Did you know right away that it was as bad as it was, or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, they, you know, I went injury tent. They moved it around. I was in pain, but not bad. Uh, then they, it was like, all right, let me try and throw a ball. And in doing that, like my shoulder like slipped out because um, just the labrum is what I think that keeps it all together, and it's, it wasn't functioning correctly. Um, so at that point, when I felt that, you know, I was like, okay, like, this is something's wrong. Uh, so I knew at that point. How have you dealt with it emotionally? You know, that's a tough way to end. Yeah, um, a tough way to end a tough year. Uh, or, you know, maybe not a challenging year, just probably for me personally. Um, but I mean, it's it's kind of like anything. It's, it's the cards you're dealt. Uh, the world doesn't care. You know, it sucks, but I'm just going to try and make the best of, of, uh, of a tough situation. Before you got hurt, there's a cool moment as you walked out on senior day. What was that like for you, having kind of the roars cheer after? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, funny enough, it was uh, like it, it really fired me up. It was, it was a lot of fun, and I kind of played a little fired up uh, to begin that game. I was kind of <laughs> a little juiced up, um, which is too bad because I felt like I had just settled in, and then I, you know, blew my shoulder out. But beside the point. Um, yeah, it was great. It was, I really appreciated it. Um, you know, it just makes you makes you feel good because uh, at times, you know, it feels like everyone hates you, but you got to remember that it's not everyone. Um, there are a lot of fans there that, that uh, made me feel, you know, really, really, really nice.